Okay. Specimen eye, it's a microscope. Okay. Uh, the first question let me ask you to, to study types of microscope. Microscope types of microscope. We have optic, optical, microscope, we have electron. These are the main type of microscope. Electron microscope, optical microscope, um, simple microscope, the one we use is in our know, secondary school, simple microscope that has only one ocular eyepiece, ocular lens. So these are the parts of a micro, the main part of microscope, the ocular lens, the eyepiece is also called the ocular. Ocular lens, that is if it's one eye, okay, so my com some complex ones are by no polar lens. You will have two eyepieces. Um, eyepiece 2, just like this is the eyepiece. This is the eyepiece 2. Okay, then you now have some objective lenses here, just like objective lenses, okay, of different magnification. This is the 2, okay, then the nose. Piece, the adjustment knob, the nose piece, the adjustment knob, there are two fine and coarse adjustment to make adjustment of the specimen to be fine when you are bringing it close, okay, trying to magnify, and then the stage, and then the base for standing. Okay, there's another thing that is a slide. Okay, before we look at the slide, what are the functions of microscope? Microscope is simply used in a laboratory to, to see or observe microorganisms that cannot ordinarily be seen with naked eye. Okay? That is the function of a microscope, to see organisms that are not seen with the aid of, of the eye. So let's make use of microscope. Also, you can also use it to magnify microscopic organisms. Some organisms can be so small that if you want to observe them, if you want to examine them, you need to expand it. So, but most, of, most often at this level, you most likely use something else as, uh, as, improved, uh, as, as an alternative for microscope, which is hand lens. To also magnify. In, in absence of microscope, hand lens can also be employed to magnify organisms. So these are the function of microscope. Then slide. Slide is one portion of a microscope. Glass slide. Plane. So a slide as this. This is where sample, culture. Okay, sample, like blood sample, like culture. Okay, to be observed here at place. So I suppose I want to, I want to know my blood count, or I want to examine if there is glass module in my blood. So I kind of have a drop of blood in this slide. Okay, you have to be smeared, smeared, and then drop it on the uh, uh, where is the table? Drop it somewhere in the adjustments. Okay, the the, bay, the adjustment table there. Before there is something here where you <coughs> the adjustment knob where you twist so that this can help to magnify this. Organism that is inside it. So when you see it, so this slide is a part of the microscope for smearing, for smearing, or for putting samples to be to be seen or to be used by the microscope. Okay. Lastly, on this um, video, we're going to look at K, L, M, and N at the same time. Okay. Specimen K pigeon. Okay, we have sorry, specimen K pigeon. Specimen L Agama Lizard. Specimen M Rats N Tilapia. So we're going to look at this quickly. Why we're looking at them? Uh, the same page is because this appears to be of the same class. This belongs to class of vertebrates, animal with backbone. But let's start with habitats. Habitats for pigeon is terrestrial. Okay, or mentioned most likely a rail. 
flies up, trees come down. So, terrestrial celestial ray. Mention this terrestrial. Mention where it is most likely like found abandoned building, uh, vegetation, okay, abandoned building, okay, vegetation. Um, okay, that's most likely abandoned building will be a nice place for this wall, wall, abandoned building walls. Can you see on the wall, okay, a gamma laser, rats, terrestrial, okay, found in corners, found in cover, dark corners, dark places, okay, we have some some hidden places at homes, that's where you see this, and then where you see this. This is aquatic, basically the same in fresh water, like river, like a lake. It is okay. This is on the habitats, the habitats of this specimen. Okay. Now let's look at the classification. The classification appears to be almost the same. So we're just going to be changing only the class. If I ask let's start with K, kingdom it belongs, phylum. It belongs and then class it belongs. So for K, K belongs to is an animal, so it's an emilia. It's an emilia for K, it was fine pigeon. Phylum for pigeon is coda to coda to animal with not a cult. And then class for pigeon is apes. So can I like us to look at why we classify pigeon like this? Animalia consumer. Dependent organism, Kodatum, animal with backbone. Apes, animal whose skin is covered with hairs or whose mouth is modified into beak. Okay, for Agama lizard, it's the same thing. Kingdom is Animalia, phylum is Kodata, but class is Reptilia. Reptilia. Okay, Reptilia for Agama lizard. Okay? Then for for rats, for rats, the same only that the class is mammalia, mammalia, mammalia. Okay, that is for specimen M. For specimen M, tilapia. That is to say that the class is Pisces, Pisces. Okay, that is for classification, for classification. Okay, let's look at the. Observing features. Okay, observing features. What do you observe in, in a pigeon? Let's start with the mouth, big form. Mouth modified into big. Okay, good. Skin covered with feathers. Then the falling is modified into wing. And then the handling is modified into what? Foot for walking. Um, what do you call it? Um, feathers, I mean, wing for flying. Okay? So one of the adaptations for, for it to fly is less weight. Less weight. Okay? The reason why this organism can fly up high to the world, sky. That is on that note. If you look at it, how the mouth is modified, that means the organism is positioned to use the mouth for feeding. Okay, and the leg for also feeding. It scratches, scratch the feet, the blunt feet on the soil, and also use the mouth to pick up grains. Okay, pick up what? Grains. Pick up grains. Then when you pick up these grains, it doesn't bite this grain because there's no teeth. Okay, this is one vertebrae that has no teeth. What it has is big. But rather, it appears that the, the seeds to be swallowed is too big, and this seed can be broken into pieces before they swallow. So that means the, the, the stomach of this uh, of this bird is adapted in a way that the gizzard is so rough. Okay, it's have a rough muscular structure. 